Hey, hey, this is Mark with Lifecycle Insights. Before we begin on what we're going to talk about today, make sure you've seen step one, asset type policies, and step two, asset mapping. If you have not, close this video and make sure to find those. Also, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will be coming out with more videos constantly and you would, be be you would benefit from getting notified. Today, I'm going to go over what day two asset cleanup would look like inside the asset list. We'll be presenting quick, easy steps for you to be able to follow. In order to get the most out of Lifecycle Insights, you'll want to make sure that the data you're working with is complete and accurate. The following guide will help you identify and remediate common problems with this data quality. In this particular video, I want to make sure you, to show you the value of cleaning up data quality. The asset list will give you an accurate report on the categories that are important to you and with the replacement costs associated with your company. In order to locate and solve for assets that won't show up on the client's budget, you'll need to use a feature we call swatching. This feature can be found in many places within Lifecycle Insights, and it works by wiping away the colors that you don't want to see on a report. Let's get started. From the dashboard, click on Asset Lists on the left-hand column. Let's go ahead and swatch away the red, yellow, and green squares at the top of the end of life column, leaving only the blue unknown fields that are showing. As you can see, you have four um, devices here, and these assets are showing on the screen will, you know, will be those that have no set end of life date which is the date we use to place the replacement cost of the device into the budget. Items with no end of life date will not be reflected on the client's budget. Now, there are two ways to resolve these items. First one is research the items to determine their purchase date and enter that into Lifecycle Insights. This resolution method will cause Lifecycle Insights to apply asset type policies to the devices and extrapolate an end of life date at which to, replace, to place the replacement cost on the budget for you. Or number two, apply a static end of life date for the asset. How you do this, you click on the asset itself and update the end of life field. Make sure you save and close. As you can see, it was taken out of our field. I just gotta find it. Twenty-three January. Ah, there it is. That's what it is, right there. Now, this replacement cost will be entered into the budget on the end of life date. You can also swatch away operating systems so you can see which operating systems are unknown or which operating systems need to be replaced. The same with warranty expiration. Quick note, there'll be other videos pertaining to the duplicate assets found and what to do with those and how to remediate. You can also, in this page, search different type of assets through the search bar. If you have any questions, please contact support at lifecycleinsights.io. Congratulations. We have just completed step three of our asset cleanup. Next step is cleanup by category. I'll see you there and happy life cycling.